For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone here with Skipper Britt Bonneau on a blustery night in Abilene. The winds of change blew through the crutch and ACU snapped a seven game losing streak. It wasn't easy. Coach, you've had a little bit of everything not quite go your way in the seven game losing streak. A bunch of things did go your way tonight. I thought your team fought really hard to win it three to two. Well, we did. Um, we we kind of put ourselves in a bad situation there in the ninth inning. Um, getting the bases loaded with nobody else, but we got out of that. It, we got out of that with just one run, uh, which let them tie the game. And then uh, check, check let us off with a big base hit up the middle. Um, uh, we pinch ran him, of course, with uh, um, with Harris. And then, and you know what? You, then you have a senior come up and lay a great bunt down. You know, to get him over in a scoring position, he was able to get to third base on a on a wild pitch, and then Draper came up with a great bunt to uh, to first base. You know, here, here we're talking about a guy who who can't really swing the bat because he's hurt. You know, and 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 it was a perfect situation for us. We have a fast guy at third base, and he laid a perfect bunt down. We were able to uh, to score. Um, you know what, Grant? Um, if there's ever a time that me personally and every one of our players needed to win, it was tonight. And to beat a good team like them who, who host regionals, um, I thought that was huge for us. It just shows you what kind of character and what kind of drive these guys have, and they never give up. And we've had some things not go our way this year. At the same time, we're back at home. We believe that we can play here. And uh, sure enough, uh, that, that, that was a huge win for us to, to pull that off. Let's just put this in context. You've got a team that's been to the NCAA playoffs. One of those years was a super regional appearance. Five of the last eight years, they have been obliterating baseballs all season long. 15-8 and eight was their record. They, they, won a, they scored 33 in a game earlier this year against New Mexico. They scored 17 a week yeah. ago against Incarnate Word. And tonight you held them to two runs. They got a run in the top of the ninth on a hit-by-pitch. But, Coach, let's go back to your starter, Nate Cole. His very first outing as a Wildcat, he was a transfer in here his sophomore year. He strikes out 10 against Arlington Baptist. Tonight against <laughs> slightly elevated competition, he ties his career high with 10 strikeouts. He, I just heard him say to Zach Cornelli, I don't care who gets the win. Great job by yeah. you, he said to Zach. He was tremendous tonight, Nate Cole. Well, he was. and. Um you know, he threw two or three more innings than what I thought he was going to throw tonight. Uh, but uh, you couldn't know, take I, him out, could you? Well, yeah, I mean, the the deal is, is you know, we're trying to figure out how to win weekend series, and and you got to throw other guys, and and that was our plan tonight <laughs> going into it. But then when you have a senior out there battling the way he was and the way he was going, and then you score two runs, the game changed. You know, the game changed, so therefore we changed. Uh, we burned a pitcher by throwing, uh, you know, Brandon Lambright in the bullpen for two innings, thinking he was going to go in. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, we bring in the lefty, and, 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 you know, JoJo comes in and gets some outs. Uh, um, it just – the game changed as it went, and, and Nate threw a great game tonight and, and put us in a great situation. And I tell you what, Cornelli um, you know, he could have easily folded. And I tell you what, he made some good pitches to get out of a tough inning and, uh, and, and let's go back to the eighth. Now, he comes in with runners at first and third and gets a called strike three. Then in the ninth, gives up a clean single yep. and then walks a batter, which walks a batter. didn't look good. And, a batter. And, and then on a on a on an attempted sacrifice, it was so perfectly laid down. You had nowhere to go with it. So now bases yep. loaded, nobody out. Yep. He then hits a batter to force in the tying run. But There's coach, still, no outs. still nobody out. But coach. Going down on his knees, your freshman Mark Pearson, one of two hey, players who start double play ball, right? Third you one know, of the night, but know, the most solid hit ball probably hit all night. It's hit right at, at you know, to our right. We catch the ball. We're able to double up, double them up. I mean, what a crazy inning! Um, that you know what? And like I told the guys out here, I said, you know what? Uh, if you keep playing the game right and you keep doing the little things and you just keep trying, sometimes you get some luck go your way, and it went our way tonight. And then. We still had to go out there and hit one of their best pitchers, oh, and, and we, we were able to do that, and, and we won the game. And, and to do that, hey, we earned it. We had to earn it. We weren't going to get out of a seven-game losing streak, losing 10 out of 11. Yeah. You're not going to get out of that unless you earn it. We earned it tonight. I'm happy for us. Now we can go play Lamar. Now you do get a couple of days off. Britt Bonneau and his team 1-0 since Coach Bonneau spoke in chapel on Monday. That's the new streak that ACU has going. A huge 3-2 win over Dallas Baptist, a team for the NCAA playoffs a year ago. They win it in walk-off fashion on a safety squeeze by Aaron Draper scoring the pinch runner Willie Harris. For Coach Bonneau, I'm Grant Boone for ACUsports.com.